we want to add a new section at this point. This is what we've done up to this point is, is more or less kind of a, a cover page of some uh, KPIs and some individual data. But if we'd like to perhaps loop through some visualizations or data sets uh, based on fields in our Sense app, we can do that. And one of the things that I would like to do is to see you know, some data split out by segments in my uh, data set. So I'll go back up to levels. And since we are going to do kind of a uh, cycling a loop through inside the report, we will need to do that through the concept of levels. We'll add a level. And this time, unlike last time where we used a table as a level to create a native pixel perfect table, we'll be using the segment description as a dimension to loop through for a visualization that we'll pick. OK, additionally, since we want to be able to loop through this section of the report, we still need a new band to perform the looping. So I'm going to right click in the bottom area beyond where we just put the page footer. And I'm going to do insert detail report. Uh, and there should be one here for the segment description level. OK, and when I do that here, you see that we now wind up with a second section uh, for the detail report. So the first thing that we will do is drag the tag that comes from that level. We'll expand the node, and we'll take the segment description tag, and we'll just align that with the upper left corner of the area that we just placed. At the same time, I'm also going to expand this part of the report, this band, because we will be inserting an image that will wind up taking up most of the available space. Okay, that expanded it rather significantly. Uh, and now we want to bring in a visualization from our Sense app that will be used uh, you know, for the looping portion of this section inside the report. So for that, we will use images once again. And we'll right click on images and select Add Objects. And what we are going to be looking for in this case is the revenue by products. And I believe the one that we want to add in here is going to be this one. Again, the proper naming conventions in your Sense app will save you a lot of agony over having to figure out which ones are the right objects or column names, uh, etc. So I will add this in. And very simply, I will drag that new image into my report directly underneath the segment description. And with all of this extra space that I have just created, I can expand the object as I'd like. In fact, let's just go in all of the empty space right here. Uh, let's wind up taking a preview here to see how the resulting report loops through the data and how the resulting pages will be split out. And here is the resulting report. And following our uh, first page, we have split out a separate page for each field value of the segment description field. 